Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss about the risk and return measurement. Whenever we are going to purchase any of the financial instrument, we have to discuss that ki how much risk is there, how much return is there. And this is important part of the investment decision. Let's discuss with this topic. Now the first question arises: what is risk? Risk means unexpected return from the market, unpredictable things from the market. Now this is a definition of risk. Risk means the existence of volatility in the occurrence of an expected incidence is called the risk. When we talk about the volatility is there, when we talk about the predictability is there, that is the risk. Yani ki we are not going to predict about the future. Or jitna jada ye higher, jitna bhi unpredictability hogi, utna jada risk hoga market ke andar. Now we are discuss. We are going to discuss about the causes of risk. What are the things? Why there is a risk in the organization? Now, first one is wrong method of investment. If our method is wrong, ki how we invest in the market, at what time we are invest in the market, so that is also cause the risk. Wrong quality of investment. If we are uh, talking about the investment, investment means invest in the financial uh, avenues. Different kind of avenues are there. And uh, if the quality of investment is not good, like we are not going to invest in a very good company, we are not going to invest in A grade companies in the market, blue chip companies in the market. If that decision is taken uh, by the investor wrong, and that is a cause of the risk in the market. Next is interest rate risk. Nowadays, the interest rate risk is also raised in the market because various countries raise the risk time to time. And that also, uh, like, that is not predictable in the market ki when the interest rates, interest rates are going to high and when the interest rate is going to low in the market. And that is also a cause of risk. Next one is maturity period or length of investment. If we are going to invest for the long period of time, we don't know about what is going to happen in the near future, whether recession is there, when the depression is there, whether there is a boom is there, so that when the length of investment is going to high, that is also a part of the risk. Term of lending, what are the terms of lending? Whenever we are going to lend some of the amount in the market and we are invest that amount in any of the uh, financial avenue. And uh, so that depend upon the terms and condition, whether do you invest in a risky uh, security, whether you invest in a higher return security, whether you are investing on the basis of income or whether you are investing on the basis of growth. Like the terms of lending also affects your return as well as that is also a point for the causing the risk. National uh, and international factor like some of the factors are there nowadays the interest rate is a very good factor in the market and that also influence the uh, return as well as that is also a cause of risk in the market what are the policies that is made by the government at the international level. Natural calamity uh, like if there is any calamity that also affects your return. Uh, the example we have caught here the covid because of the covid so much problems are there uh, created in the market and if we talk about the other things like demonetization is there like like when we talk about the natural calamity like uh, that also impact the market and on the, on the basis of that the government also want to take decision like after the covid that is a problem and after that there is a recession in the market and government also introduced time to time on the basis of these natural climate is government also take some other decisions make the some policy like the demonetization that is made by the policy on the basis of some slowdown in the market now when we talk about the type of risk there are mainly two type of risk one is systematic and one is unsystematic risk is there when we talk about the uh, like uh, when we talk about the risk there are mainly two kind of risk is there one is systematic one is unsystematic systematic means that is not under any control and unsystematic may be that is like if we change our policy then strategy then maybe we uh, have we are going to control that risk in the near future but in systematic risk we are not going to control that kind of risk. Uh, when we talk about the systematic risk, systematic risk means market risk ki hum baat karenge. We are talking about the interest rate risk that is not under your control and we are talking about the purchasing power risk is there. When we talk about the unsystematic risk that is a business risk is there, financial risk is there as well as the default credit risk like the customer is not going to return your amount in the near future that is a default credit risk is there. These type of risk is not under control. These are the risks that is under the control of the business strategies. Now, when we talk about the systematic risk, 
just a minute when we talk about the systematic risk systematic risk means kya hua in the financial term that is caught as beta okay that is not under any control when we talk about the market risk is there when we talk about the interest rate is there when we talk about the inflation is there when we talk about the purchasing power is there these kind of risk are the systematic risk now now we start with the proper definition systematic risk systematic risk refers to the portion of variation in the return caused by the factor that affects the portion of variation yani ki jitna changes ho raha hai in return mein jo changes ho raha hai caused by the factor that affects the price of all the securities aise factors jo that affects the price of the securities jo share ke price ko affect kar rahe hain the risk cannot be avoided or ignored when we talk about the systematic risk that cannot be avoided that cannot be ignored the effect of return cause the price of all the individual security to move in the same direction uh, if we talk about the effect of the return uh, causes the price of all the individual security like when we talk about the systematic risk that is arise in the market and that can't be ignored there are some of the uh, type of systematic uh, risk is there first one is market risk market risk is a part of systematic return market risk means variation in the price sparked off due to real social political and economic events in refer to market risk market risk arises out of change in the jab bhi hum market risk ki baat karenge we talk about the demand and supply pressure in the market if supply is more or demand is more that affects the prices of the particular uh, commodity in the market and that is not under control and that is based on the news as well as the expectation of the investors second is interest rate risk generally price of the security tend to move inversely with change in the rate of interest like when we talk about the price of the security when we talk about the inflation as well as when we talk about the interest rate their prices that is inverse relationship is there the market activity and the investor perceptions are influenced by change in the interest rate return depend upon the nature of the stock bond and loan etc maturity of period and credit worthiness of issuer of the security issuer means the company when we talk about jo marketing uh, market activity and investor ki jo perception hai ye dono cheeze like where the marketing activities are going on what is the perception of the investor are influenced by change in the interest rate both of the things are influenced market is also influenced as well as the investor is are influenced with the change in the interest rate which turn depend upon the nature of the stock depend karta hai ki which kind of stock you are going to purchase which kind of bond you are going to purchase which kind of loan you are taking and maturity of the period of the loan as well as for the stock as well as the credit worthiness of a particular company whether the company credit worthiness is very good or whether that is up to average that is also affected now we talk about the purchasing power is this is a third kind of risk and that a systematic risk a purchasing power risk means uncertainty of purchasing power in reference to risk due to inflation if there is higher interest rate in the market and the, the goods prices are also high in the market then the, that affects the purchasing power of the customers inflation arouses optimism since all the price group and that lead to higher income but the effect of this hike in income increase and cost of production due to wages rise rise in the price of raw material when we talk about the purchasing power if raw material price is going to high the labor price as wages price is going to high cost of production ultimately going to high in the market there is a possibility of price of desired goods and services going up due to inflation now we are talking about the unsystematic risk unsystematic risk that is under the control of the company portion of risk which is caused due to factors unique or related to a firm or industry unsystematic risk kaise aata hai the effect the factors within a firm or industry and that affects the uh, risk that affects the return and that that's why there is a cause of the risk this risk is company specific risk like when we talk about the systematic risk that is depend upon the market that is not related to company or that is not related to industry directly but that affects both the firm as well as the industry but when we talk about the unsystematic risk that is arise because of the factor related to firm and industry this risk is company specific risk and can be controlled if proper measures are taken if we are taking we are making good policies and strategies maybe we are going to control these kind of risk these kind of risk are labor shortage of power recession in a particular industry these kind of risk is related to these thing 
Now, three kind of risk are there that is a part of unsystematic risk. One is business risk is there internally and externally. Financial risk is there that is related to the capital structure of the company. Third one is credit or default risk deals with the meeting with the default like when we talk about ki proper management is not there uh, like people are not giving loan back these kind of risk are credit risk is there. Now, when we talk about the risk return relationship or different stock, that is depend upon that. Like, jaise jaise hamara return badta jayega, vaise vaise hamara risk bhi badta jayega. And so many type of uh, in financial avenues are there. When we talk about the ordinary share, like when we talk about the equity share, in that the risk is higher as well as the return is very high. Now, this is a part of uh, uh, this. Like uh, when we talk about ki how we measure this risk. जब भी हम रिस्क की बात करेंगे तो दे आर टू और थ्री काइंड ऑफ टूल्स वी आर यूजिंग टू मेजर द रिस्क इन द मार्केट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट वी कैन जज कि हाउ मच रिस्क इज देयर इन अ पर्टिकुलर इन्वेस्टमेंट वेन्यू और फाइनेंशियल वेन्यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज स्टैंडर्ड एवेशन वैन वी टॉक अबाउट द इंडिविजुअल सिक्योरिटी वी वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट द रिस्क इन अ पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक देन वी आर गोइंग टू मेजर विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एवेशन बट वैन वी टॉक अबाउट द Uh, security like we have to talk about the full industry and we have to talk about then we have to uh, measure that kind of risk with the help of beta this is a formula of standard deviation now practically one question is here and i am going to discuss about that also with you here three outcome is here in this example a return on stock a return on stock b and probability how much probability is there for uh, stock a and for stock b and how we calculate this <coughs> right here now we are discussing about uh, this question here i am taking return of stock a return of stock b okay and this is a probability figure for stock a and this is for the stock b now let's discuss about this now what is the formula to calculate this first of all we have to calculate with the help of this this is the the return and this is a probability first of all we have to uh, multiply both the factors then according to uh, we have to fit on this formula uh, the standard deviation ka jo formula rahega wo hamara rahega x square uh, multiply px minus x multiply px ka स्केयर तो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वैन वी पुट दिस वैल्यू इन दिस देन द स्टैंडर्ड एवेशन इज वन पॉइंट फोर वन रुपीज सेम वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट फॉर प्रोडक्ट बी हेयर द हेयर द प्राइज इज फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स रुपीज स्टैंडर्ड एवेशन नाउ वी हैव टू कंपेयर दिस थिंग लाइक मिनट जब हम एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न की बात करेंगे दैट इज फिफ्टीन रुपीज फॉर स्टॉक ए एंड फिफ्टीन रुपीज फॉर स्टॉक बी हियर ये हमारा ये हमारा एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न था ये हमारी प्रोबेबिलिटी थी जो अगर हम टोटल रिटर्न की बात करें तो फिफ्टीन रुपीज दैट इज अ रिटर्न गिवन बाय बी प्रोडक्ट एज वेल एज फिफ्टीन रुपीज रिटर्न दैट इज गिवन बाय ए प्रोडक्ट बट वैन वी टॉक अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड एवेशन इन ए द स्टैंडर्ड एवेशन इज वन पॉइंट फोर वन इन सेकेंड स्टैंडर्ड एवेशन इज फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स हियर the data when we talk about the expected return from a stock that is 15 rupees when we talk about stock b that is also 15 rupees when we talk about the standard deviation in product a that is 1.41 but in stock b that is 5.66 rupees comparing the two stock we see that the both the stock have the same return both the stocks have given the same uh, return but the risk is more risk is me jada hai risk is ke andar jada hai as comparison to first one we can say that the return of b stock is prone to higher फ्लैक्चुएशन इज कंपेयर टू ए यानी कि इस स्टॉक के अंदर ज्यादा रिस्क है रिटर्न हमारा सेम है तो हम वहां पे इन्वेस्ट करेंगे जहां पे हमारा रिस्क भी कम होगा और रिटर्न भी हमारा सेम मिल रहा है आई थिंक यू आर क्लियर विद दिस कंसेप्ट अब हम बात करते हैं कॉफिशेंट ऑफ वेरिएशन की कॉफिशेंट ऑफ वेरिएशन इज अ मेजर ऑफ रिलेटिव रिस्क इट टेल इज द रिस्क एसोसिएटिव विद ईच यूनिट ऑफ द मनी ठीक है दिस इज अ फार्मूला लेट डिस्कस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल 
हियर द रिटर्न ऑफ स्टॉक ए जो एक्सपेक्टेड मीन है हम लेके चलेंगे और रिटर्न ऑफ स्टॉक बी स्टैंडर्ड एवेशन हमारे यहाँ फोर है यहाँ पे हमारा फाइव है यानी कि रिटर्न ज़्यादा है तो रिस्क भी ज़्यादा है हाउ वी कैलकुलेट वी हैव कैलकुलेट लाइक दिस दो हमारा जो सी बी आया है वो जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव स्टॉक बी इज़ जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव विच मीन्स दैट अगेंस्ट एवरी रूपी इन्वेस्टेड देर इज़ अ रिस्क ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव पैसा वैन वी रूपी वैन वी इन्वेस्ट वन रूपी इन द मार्केट एंड देर इज अ रिस्क ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव पैसा और सिंस रिस्क इज हायर एज कंपेरिजन टू बी सो स्टॉक ए हैज मोर रिस्क स्टॉक ए के अंदर ज़्यादा रिस्क है हमारे पास रिटर्न है फिफ्टीन हमारा स्टैंडर्ड एवेशन भी वहाँ पर कम था लेकिन हमें हमारे यहाँ यहाँ पर जो हमारा सी बी है वो हमारा ज़्यादा है यहाँ पर रिटर्न ज़्यादा है रिस्क ज़्यादा है लेकिन अगर हम बात करेंगे तो यहाँ पर रिस्क ज़्यादा है एज कम्पेरिजन टू बी तो वी हैव प्रेफर द बी एज कम्पेरिजन टू ए हेयर Now we'll discuss about the beta. Beta is the the measure, the like uh, when we calculate the systematic risk that is calculated with the help of the beta. There is uh, here is a formula of beta. When we discuss about this, uh, how we calculate the return with the help of beta. Systematic risk के base पे how you calculate the return. Uh, R is equal to R for return. R F means risk free rate of return in the market plus R M means market index return minus rf risk free rate of return and multiply by beta beta describe the relationship between the stock return and index return when we discuss about stock return means a return of a particular security like the example icici bank you are going to purchase a share of icici bank the return of that stock is known as the stock return and index return when we talk about the sensex or nifty so beta kya describe karta hai beta describe karta hai systematic risk ko describe karta hai systematic risk means that is not under the control of anyone that is depend upon the market that is depend upon inflation interest rate and purchasing power <coughs> बीटा इज इक्वल टू प्लस वन और प्लस जीरो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव और प्लस टू परसेंट अलग अलग परसेप्शन है मार्केट के अंदर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ फार्मूला अगर हम बात करते हैं बीटा इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो वन परसेंट चेंज इन द मार्केट इंडेक्स कॉज एग्जैक्टली वन परसेंट चेंज इन द स्टॉक रिटर्न इट इंडिकेट्स द स्टॉक मूव इन द टेंडम विद द मार्केट बीटा जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट वन परसेंट चेंज इन द मार्केट इंडेक्स cause exactly 0.5% change in the stock return it indicates the stock is less volatile as comparison to market if the beta is come uh, like 0.5% the perception is different the fundamentals are different if beta is 2 वन परसेंट चेंज इन अगर मार्केट में एक परसेंट चेंज हो रहा है मार्केट इंडेक्स रिटर्न में को टू परसेंट चेंज इन द स्टॉक अगर हमारा बीटा टू परसेंट है यानी कि अगर मार्केट में वन परसेंट चेंज हो रहा है तो बीटा हमारा जो स्टॉक रिटर्न है वो टू परसेंट वहाँ पर चेंज होगा इट इंडिकेट्स द स्टॉक जो हमारी सिक्योरिटी की हम बात करें वो ज़्यादा वॉलेटाइल है एज कम्पेरिजन टू मार्केट नाउ हे इज़ द वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस पोज द रिस्क फ्री रेट ऑफ अ सिक्योरिटी सिक्स परसेंट यानी कि हमारे पास जो आर एफ है वो सिक्स परसेंट है एंड द मार्केट रेट जो हमारा है वो ट्वेल्व परसेंट है और बीटा हमारा वन पॉइंट टू फाइव है लेट डिस्कस दिस हमने क्या फॉर्मूला किया था जब हम रिटर्न की बात करेंगे हम कहेंगे रिस्क फ्री रेट ऑफ रिटर्न प्लस मार्केट रेट ऑफ रिटर्न माइनस रिस्क फ्री रेट ऑफ रिटर्न मल्टीप्लाई बाय बीटा हमें इस फार्मूला के अंदर पुट करना है अब रिटर्न की जब हम बात करेंगे हम बात करेंगे कि जो हमारा रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न फॉर अ सिक्योरिटी हम बात करेंगे वो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट हमारा यहाँ पे आएगा देखो रिस्क फ्री रेट ऑफ रिटर्न हमने सिक्स लिया है मार्केट रिटर्न हमारा ट्वेल्व है माइनस रिस्क फ्री रेट ऑफ रिटर्न है मल्टीप्लाई अगर हमारा बीटा है वन ठीक है हमने यहाँ पर जो बीटा लिया है वो लिया है वन टू फाइव देखो जस्ट अ मिनट अगेन रिस्क फ्री रेट ऑफ रिटर्न है सिक्स प्लस मार्केट रेट ऑफ रिटर्न है ट्वेल्व हमारे पास रिस्क को रिस्क फ्री रेट ऑफ रिटर्न सेम डेटा मल्टीप्लाई अगर हमारा बीटा है वन पॉइंट टू फाइव तो हमारे पास रिजल्ट आया थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव 
ये हमारे पास रिटर्न आ रहा है अगर हमारा बीटा बढ़ जाता है यानी कि हमारा बीटा बढ़ के हो गया 1.60 तो वहाँ पे हमारे पास जो रिटर्न आया वो ये रिटर्न आया मार्केट में ठीक है सो वी सी दैट ग्रेटर द वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा अगर हम बीटा की वैल्यू 1.25 से 1.60 अगर बीटा की वैल्यू हम करते हैं ग्रेटर द सिस्टमेटिक तो बीटा मीन्स यानी कि हमारा रिस्क ज़्यादा हो गया और हमारा जो रिटर्न है यानी कि पहले जो रिटर्न आ रहा था ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस बीटा थर्टीन समथिंग था और अब 15 पॉइंट समथिंग है यानी कि जैसे जैसे रिस्क बढ़ेगा वैसे वैसे रिटर्न भी बढ़ेगा ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक्स अ लॉट होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो